Father, I thank you. Today I plead the blood of Jesus upon all your children. As we get into spiritual warfare, I sanctify them all by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let angels be positioned in battle array in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Jehovah, I ask you to release warring angels, angels that are assigned for spiritual warfare to begin to position themselves in this auditorium. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree as the captives will be set free today, they must be completely set free. In the name of Jesus, I pray for an anointing the anointing that breaks yokes I don't want a cute anointing I want a yoke breaking anointing I want a power releasing anointing in the name of Jesus anoint me for your glory oh give me the grace to set the captives free even as Jesus said the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to set the captives free let captives be set free in the name of Jesus let the captives of the mighty be delivered I'm praying oh father god and i know you hear me always when i pray oh kabaza tola baka tabahaya our weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through god for the demolishing of strongholds casting down every imagination that seeks to exalt itself against the knowledge of god and father as i am praying today i know that doors are opening for your children i know that the foundations of the prison are being shaken every which coven prison be shaken in the name of Jesus. I release the power of God that was available in the book of Acts chapter number 16. And Paul and Silas were praying and praising. Suddenly there was a shift. Suddenly there was a shaking in the foundation. Today we confront the foundations of witchcraft. We shake them in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, we shake the occult. We shake the powers of darkness. We shake them today in the name of Jesus Jehovah God war against them that have warred against us fight them that are fighting us confront them that are confronting us oh kabaza to bahaya ndebeke ndebeke zeta bahaya ato beke tibaka tola bazata la bahaya oh kade bagoda bahaya cause changes jehovah god and makata mazato la bahaya ezato baki tebeke di bahaya we release relentless power and na makota mazato la bahaya oh zedebeke tibako tebeke zedebeke today we hand over enemies to you oh god every enemy of our destiny we hand them over to you and we say jehovah we are pleading our case we are bringing forth our strong reasons in the name of jesus we have a destiny to fulfill God given destiny to fulfill Jehovah do not allow the enemy to prevail you said in your word Exodus 22 verse 18 suffer a witch not to live today we submit that to you and unto you oh God let witches be destroyed let powers of darkness be destroyed we refuse for witches to continue to live and to continue to afflict God's children in the name of Jesus oh God I refuse to live below my redemptive rights. I refuse to live below my redemptive rights. And cause a shift during this prayer shift. In the name of Jesus, I activate a shift during this prayer shift. In the name of Jesus and Tamaha shall the captives of the mighty be delivered. Oh Kabaza Tola Mahaya. Today is the day that the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. Yeah, Namako Tamaza Tola Mahaya. Hey, Kabadola Bakida Baza Tola Mahaya. And Loboko Dibaka Tamahaya. Today we raise a standard, a standard against the enemy. We raise a standard against witches and wizards. We raise a standard against the occult. In the 
in the name of Jesus. Deliver me. Psalm 59, verse 1 to 2. Deliver me from bloodthirsty men. Oh, I said, Deliver me, O Lord, from bloodthirsty men. Deliver me, O God, from enemies that are salivating for my flesh, that are thirsty for my blood. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kabasa Talamahaya. Now I speak Psalm 7, verse number 9. Let the wickedness of the wicked let it come to an end, but establish the just, oh my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. I release the power of the living God, a power that ends wickedness, a power that establishes the just. Every which frustrated in my progress, let them be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare and I decree according to 1 Kings 19 verse number 17 let no witches escape let no wizards escape in the name of Jesus draw your sword oh God today in the name of Jesus I declare and I decree as the sun rises tomorrow let it smite witches and wizards as the moon raises at night let it annihilate them in the name of Jesus I speak to the ground I call Commanded to open her and swallow, swallow the oak out. You crowned her. Hear the word of the Lord. Swallow the oak out. Swallow them in the name of Jesus. I speak Isaiah 54, verse number 15. They shall gather, but not for my sake. Whoever gathers against me shall be destroyed for my sake. I speak that word over your life. Anyone who gathers against you. Whoever assembles against you, whoever assembles against your ministry, whoever assembles against your church, they shall suffer for your sake. They shall suffer for your sake. I declare and I decree. Numbers 23 23. There shall be no more sorcery. There shall be no more witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, I speak Psalm 7, verse number 16. Whoever has dug a pit for you, they will fall into the same pit I speak Luke 18 verse number 7 and 8 avenge us speedily oh God avenge us speedily Jehovah do not delay to avenge us of our adversaries in the book of Psalm 41 verse number 5 to 7 they are saying when will he die when will he die they desire my death but Jehovah God in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost step in on my behalf deal with them that want my death I invoke the God of vengeance I invoke the God of vengeance in the name of Jesus I activate divine punishment upon all my enemies upon enemies of my destiny in the name of Jesus end the reign of wicked my father my God in the reign of sorcery it shall be no more sorcery in the name of Jesus cut off the wicked from the land cut them off Jehovah God in the name of Jesus every wicked person working against your destiny I release the power in the book of Acts chapter number 12 where Herod was eaten by worms and he died we release strange diseases upon witches and wizards incurable diseases upon witches and wizards in the name of Jesus I declare and I decree Psalm 35 verse number 5 let angels pursue them let angels pursue them let angels pursue them as we are praying now we are activating angels to pursue the power of the occult pursue them pursue them pursue them we refuse Ecclesiastes 8 11. We refuse for judgment to be slow. No more slow judgment. We command quick judgment. Quick judgment. We attack evil to us in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God. According to Job 36, verse 32. In the name of Jesus. Strike them with lightning. Strike them with lightning. 
I said strike them with lightning in the name of Jesus according to Exodus 9 verse 23 to 26 strike them with hail strike them with fire strike them with lightning in the name of Jesus and arise O Lord in your vengeance according to the book of Psalm 94 verse 1 to 6 arise O God do not delay O Lord arise and scatter them and verse 16 of Psalm 94 there are those who rise against me these are evil doers they will stand up for me against me the workers of iniquity deal with them Jehovah deal with them Jehovah and come on open your mouth provoke God to action by the word of God and that's how you deal with strong enemies you just use the word of God it is written God will bring shame on evil doers according to Psalm 70 verse 1 to 3 he will bring shame upon them he will bring shame upon them let them be ashamed let them be confounded let them be confused I release madness upon the occult in the name of Jesus every enemy of this ministry I release madness in the name of Jesus I command confusion Jehovah God beat my enemies according to Psalm 89 verse 20 to 23 arise and beat them arise and beat the enemy arise and beat the enemy Jehovah God beat the enemy let them receive a holy beat down in the name of Jesus fight against those that fight against me war against those that war against me contend with them that contend against me demonic cartels we wage a war against them in the name of Jesus every satanic plan is being turned upside down in the name of Jesus every curse over your life must be reversed open your mouth and pray these things will not happen unless you pray them they are not automatic we veto every satanic proclamation against your life and your destiny we veto it in the name of Jesus we turn the plans of Lucifer upside down in the name of Jesus we bind the strong men we bind the occult we destroy occultic powers in the mighty and precious name of Jesus we strip the strong men of his trusted weapons trusted weapons of the strong men we strip you today in the name of Jesus we wage an attack upon the strong men a strong attack upon the strong men in the name of Jesus every evil projection against your life it must be reversed it must be reversed today 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 it must be reversed in the name of Jesus every contrary wind working against your destiny we say peace be still peace be still peace be still we silence the wind we silence the waves every turmoil going on in your life we say peace be still we reject failure today we reject failure we reject non achievement in the name of Jesus be delivered today I mean Job 5 19 to 23 be delivered from strong troubles from six troubles yay seven troubles be delivered and no evil is permitted to touch you oh in fair mind he shall redeem you from death be redeemed from death KPM in the name of Jesus be redeemed from death in war be delivered by the power of the sword which is the word of God you shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue and you shall not be afraid of destruction when it comes we break the power of fear yes they will threaten you but don't fear them you can't deal with what you dread I refuse to fear the enemy I refuse to dread the enemy no more fear may you be strong in 
in the Lord. You shall laugh at distraction and at famine in the name of Jesus. You shall not be afraid of the beast of the earth. Oh, Kabaso Talamahaya, Ah Sabako Tabaja Talamahaya, Ah Kabatula Maza Tulamahaya, and Nanamakandi and Lamahaya, Oh Sabako Damaza Talamahaya, for you shall have a covenant with the stones of the field, and Namahaya, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. Every satanic beast sent against you shall be at peace with you. Adabakatabahaya, and Namahaya, that hyena sent against you shall be at peace with you that owl sent against you shall be at peace with you in the name of Jesus we command the elements to work with you I said the elements will work with you in the name of Jesus we deep program every satanic programming in the realm of the spirit working against you we deep program it today in the name of Jesus whatever has been programmed by the occult in the realm of the spirit we deprogram it in the name of Jesus time sensitive cases we deprogram them in the name of Jesus I command confusion and distraction upon all enemies in the name of Jesus anyone in covenant with the animal kingdom to work against me be destroyed by holy destruction in the name of Jesus evil birds that are chanting against me in the name of Jesus be ye destroyed Jehovah God I'm in Psalm 17 verse 8 to 9 deal with deadly enemies O Lord keep me as the apple of your eye keep me from wicked men who oppress me hide me under your shadow of your wings hide me from the wicked who oppress me from deadly enemies who surround me deliver me from my strong enemies oh from those who hate me for they were too strong for me but they are not too strong for you oh god rise in your power rise in your majesty they might be too strong for me but they are not too strong for you what is a spiritual husband before you oh god what is a spirit wife before you oh god what is a wizard before you oh god smite them jehovah strike them jehovah bring them down activate your shield oh lord activate your sword oh lord I'm in Revelations chapter 10 verse 5 to 7 I was standing and I saw an angel of the Lord put one foot on the sea and one foot on the land and he swore by him who lives forever and he said there shall be no more delays why should there be delays there shall be no more delays wizards are made to stop nothing will happen unless you pray you better open your mouth this is not a charismatic church it's a crazy matic church crazy people who are prepared to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say I want my money and I want it now I want my breakthrough and I want it now I want my house and I want it now I want my spa and I want it now I want my contract and I want it now I'm tired of waiting I've stopped waiting I've started confronting the devil and, and, and his cohorts in the name of Jesus anyone representing Lucifer you are under attack from KPM we are praying from our heavenly position we are in Christ seated at the right hand of the Father we are not praying from an earthly perspective we are praying from a heavenly perspective we go into the enemy's territory to take back everything stolen from us you shall pay sevenfold whatever you 
took from us, we activate a sevenfold. The other day, David's wives and family were taken, and the Bible says he went up to the Lord and he said, Lord, shall I pursue? And the Lord said, Pursue. He said, Shall I pursue? Will I recover all? And he was told, You will recover all. And the Bible says, And he went against the enemy and he pursued. Come on, somebody. Today is a day to pursue strong enemies. I'm pursuing my resources. I'm pursuing the promises of God. I'm pursuing. I'm not stopping. If you don't pursue, you won't possess. Pursue, pursue, pursue. You are pursuing her. The pursuing grace. The pursuing grace is coming upon you. I said the pursuing grace. Pursue your marital place. Pursue your husband. Pursue that wife in the realm of the spirit. Pursue. Contend with them. Contend with them. This is what you have been lacking. You are lacking fighting. Open your mouth and fight for it. Things are not handed over to you. You've got to fight for them. You've got to fight for them. You've got to fight for them eh kabaza talabaha e dabako damaza telebeke andala bako tamaza talamaha andala makati laramaha i don't know about you but i refuse to be refused andama kandamaha i deny to be denied eh kabazo tabaha e ndala bako namaha andala bako tabaha the overstepping on my behalf eh kabaha how long will you look lord while the wicked prosper how long will you look oh lord while my enemies they speak they speak pompous words strike their teeth jehovah beat them jehovah begin to pray not from your mouth but from your belly for out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water out of your belly shall flow breakthroughs out of your belly shall flow contracts out of your belly shall flow there are things that are flowing there are things that are flowing out of your belly shall flow healing out of your belly shall flow deliverance out of your belly out of your belly every demon inside you it must burn it must burn light up that fire of the Holy Ghost light up that fire of the Holy Ghost I promise you by the end of the day today some destiny documents must be in your hands release warfare engines Jehovah according to the book of Ezekiel warfare engines to grind the enemy to powder we release warfare engines I said warfare engines we release them according to Ezekiel 26 verse number 9 warfare engines we release them to break the towers of the enemy to break the cities of the enemy I'm tired of being tired I'm frustrated of being frustrated I'm tired of waiting. There's greatness on the inside of me. There's greatness on the inside of me. It must manifest. Oh Lord God, that you bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge the ministry. Enlarge the businesses. Enlarge my asset base. Enlarge my anointing. Enlarge my grace. Enlarge me, oh Lord. Surely, surely, verily, verily, my life is better than this. And I refuse to go through what I went through last year, waiting and waiting, nothing happening. A devil is a liar. Things are not waited for, but things are things are made to happen. I command it to happen. It shall come to pass. And as soon as Zion travailed, the earth gave for the earth, it brought forth the fruit.
fruit but zion must travail I insist on greatness and Alamaha. Jehovah God, as I pray, remove me from obscurity into notoriety. Remove me from average and I refuse to be an average Joe in the name of Jesus. I refuse, I refuse. He said, I know the plans I have for you, Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you for a future and a hope. Then you will call to me. You will come to me. You will call and I will answer. So the promises are only activated by prayer. You better open your mouth and pray. Every swap destiny, we are taking it back. We are taking it back. We are taking it back. If you suffer a wish to live, you will live to suffer. I refuse to suffer, so the wish must die. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Whoever has to die for me to rise, what are you waiting for? Fall down and die. I release killer angels like the one that killed 185,000 of the Assyrian army. I release that angel in the name of Jesus. Today we attack even the false prophets. The Bible says not one of them escaped. 400 false prophets of Baal. They were attacked by one man called Elijah. I have that anointing today. Is the Elijah anointing. An anointing to slay false prophets. Today we slay the wicked. Today we slay the wicked. I said we slay the wicked. We bring down the false prophets. None shall escape. None shall escape. None shall escape. Every delay spirit, every delay power, you be broken. Anything resisting your destiny, I subject it to the fire of God. Anything resisting your destiny, I subject it to the fire of the Holy Ghost. A Bible says, submit yourself unto God, resist the devil, and then he will flee. Don't talk about the devil, just resist him, resist him. I resist stagnation, I resist frustration, I resist blockages, I resist them today. Today is the day where I resist divorce, today is the day where I resist sickness. You sickness, what are you doing in my body? You are illegal in my body. I expel you by the power of prayer. A devil from must flee from you. And poverty must flee from you. That sickness must flee from you. That disease must flee from you. Gather together, Isaiah 8, verse 8 to 10. Gather together and be broken in pieces. Every satanic gathering, we break into pieces. We break into pieces. Oh, Kabasa Talamahaya. Andalabako Tabasa Talamahaya. Gather together and be broken in pieces. Give ear you from far countries. Get yourselves and be broken in pieces. Get yourself and be broken in pieces. Get yourself and be broken in pieces. We 
wicked counsel shall not stand for the Lord God is with us and then he says in Jeremiah 1 verse number 19 they will fight against you but they will not prevail because the Lord is with you your tongues are rearranging things in the realm of the spirit open your mouth and pray things are being rearranged things are being shifted open your mouth and pray your harvest is being activated just open your mouth and pray this is prayer shift this is a prayer shift this is prayer shift men ought always to pray and not faint pray without ceasing pray without ceasing I like to say pray and to further notice pray without looking at your watch pray without looking at your phone pray and to further notice welcome to prayer shift where we shift things by prayer where we move things by prayer where we realign our destinies by prayer where we grow our churches by prayer where we increase our influence by prayer welcome to prayer shift this is a praying church not a prophet lying church a praying church where we pray through the promises of God is a prayer ministry prayer shift every demon hiding in your house release the fire of the Holy Ghost every satanic declaration against your destiny we are bringing it down by the power of prayer we are bringing it down by the power of prayer generational cases are breaking generational cases are breaking barriers are breaking no more toiling no more toiling moving objects are disappearing cancers are disappearing by the power of prayer leukemia is disappearing by the power of prayer HIV is drying up by the power of prayer the enemy will be utterly destroyed according to Deuteronomy 4 verse 26 they will be utterly destroyed in the name of Jesus God will cut off evil doers as you pray according to Psalm 37 verse 1 and 2 he will cut them off like the grass I release the angels in 2nd Kings chapter number 19 verse 35 to 37 the angel that killed 185,000 of the Assyrian army it doesn't matter how many witches there are in your family by this angel by this angel we activate the death of witches and wizards in the name of Jesus as we are praying now we raise the whirlwind of Jehovah according to Jeremiah 30 verse 23 to 24 the whirlwind of Jehovah the violent wind of Jehovah the whirlwind of Jehovah the whirlwind of Jehovah the whirlwind of Jehovah the whirlwind of Jehovah we raise up the whirlwind of Jehovah the whirlwind of Jehovah behold the whirlwind of the Lord goes forth with fury it goes forth with fury 
mepo ya wakasumza ku business tulikusumu zirawa roi tulikusumu zirawa roi mepo ya jehova a continuing whirlwind a continuing whirlwind a continuing whirlwind they must lose your resources they must lose your resources a continuing whirlwind a continuing whirlwind a continuing whirlwind a continuing whirlwind anda makota mahaya ala makota mazatu la mahaya e kabata la mahaya anda makota mazata la mahaya e kebese tele boko di mahaya ata bakata la mahaya o sabakada mahaya e kabasata la mahaya